about a minute left. What's, um, how was that experience? Good. Good? Good. Self-reflection for sure. A lot of self-reflection. Anybody want to share? Anybody want to be vulnerable and share with that Sunday ball looks like? In any area? Okay, I'll do the guinea pig. Thank you. Um, I think for me it's finances at this point. So I'm looking at, um, which I've been working on getting my P&L for both business and for family. Okay, good. So, and having that as transparent so that moving forward, you know, instead of looking back at all the could have, would have, should have, it's like just make my 20 clear and Approach it that way. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good. So, it, so does that mean that you're gonna create a? The goal is to create a PNL. Is that? Yeah, because you know my husband does all the PNL stuff for his work, but when it comes home, it's all me. And so between our stuff and then trying to create a business plan, I'm overwhelmed. So it's you know with other classes, it seems to just come down to decluttering what I have because I found my right. archaic systems and then just having okay. one. Is it okay if I ask you some questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so will you be able to accomplish the PNL within a year? Oh, yes, absolutely. No, I'm already starting. Okay, so are someday we want to go far out. So I guess I would challenge you to say in your finances, in your PNL, what would you want it to look like someday? Not just creating, but what would, oh, you don't have to answer that, yeah. but for yourself, yeah, what would you my, want? The goal that it's created and then being able to. Um, so throw um, out a number out there in your mind. What do you want it to look like someday? I want it to look like you know, I'm going to have a net profit of a million dollars by whatever it is. What um, is that? My immediate 411 kind of goal is to have to quadruple what I did okay. last year. And so then that would give Yeah, so then take it out, okay, five years, and then someday I want to have enough that I can donate, you know, And that goes back to my dollars. number one freedom. It goes so back to your that. value. Yes. 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 So talking about freedom, how do you accomplish freedom? By not having things that control you. Right, but what like for just in one area of finances, like mm -hmm. what is, what is that someday goal that'll give you freedom, mm -hmm. and in the area of finances, how much money is that? 
an actual number. Of miles exactly. Because we again, if, it can't be too big. Yeah, if I just want to say I want to go somewhere to the mainland, yeah. what's my likelihood of getting to where I want to go? <laughs> no, where I've done I that, and then I get all the volumes, right? Yeah. It's like, well, I was to point by while I was thinking New York. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> it is someday far out. However, it still has to be a target. It right. Still has so to you do have a number. Oh, okay, good. And um, so I'm looking at like 400, like my GCI to be in the mid 400,000 for this year. So that would give me a net at about 100 something thousand based on what I But that's the one year. We're talking about some year. year, someday. So, so a 10, like to time 10 that. 20 years. So the goal would be to like <laughs> quadruple that. I don't know. For me. What is freedom? <laughs> Again, it goes back to what is freedom, what is freedom? Look yeah. Like. Freedom's probably 10 million liquid somewhere to me. Is freedom. Okay, there you, there you go. There you go. So now you, you put a stake in the sand and saying someday freedom looks like this. The extraordinary knife looks like this. And be really clear on that. Right? We're going to talk about how we can be clear on that in just the next slide. Um, anybody else want to share? Take a stab real quick. Yeah, thank you. Um, so for me, it's spiritual life, and I want my ideal spiritual person, let's call him a Christian, to line up with who I am. I'll give you an example. You know, my wife sometimes says, why do you go to church? You're such a jerk. And I'm like, well, that's why I go. Because I'm such a jerk. And that's where I find the, 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 the yeah, we all change. All right? So that's what I, I want to be that ideal person. I don't want to leave church and then be yelling at somebody that's driving because I'm impatient with them. I want that person to be who I am all the time. Good, good. That's awesome. So again, today we're going to connect them all. We're going to connect them all. <laughs> this is what's really cool. Um, speaking of which, uh, for example, this is just an example of what it could look like. Someday the old goal could be like, I want to be medicine free and disease free for life. That's a someday goal. That's out there. Uh, it may not be today, but it's someday. Right? The other someday goal could be, I want to have a seventh level business. Right? For specific, I know what that is, is I'm not actually doing business anymore, I'm running a business. Another example could be, I want a passive income of $250,000 a year. Passive income. What Gary Keller always talks about is not about how much money we make in real estate. It makes money, it's all about how much money we make when we're not working. Passive income. Because his goal is always about passive income. Someday, when I'm not having to work, I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want, with whoever I want, I get this kind of money coming in. That's that someday goal, right? And so having a clarity, see if we're not, guys, if we're not clear on the someday goal, all the rest are gonna get really blurry. And they're gonna move. Every year it's gonna change because we're not clear on our someday goal. Right? So for us, this is actually our, our someday goal. For example, um, we started eating better this year, so we uh, cut back a lot of. I'm, I'm a rice and pastry guy. I love my. They call me the Cookie Monster, so I had to cut, <laughs> I had to cut back a lot of that, um, and I lost some weight this year. Right? I lost some weight this year, um, and that was healthy for me because that gets me to my Sunday goal. So this year's goal was we wanted to be more plant based. How do we get there? Well, we're gonna. We watched a lot of videos that scared the heck out of us. <laughs> Scare straight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that uh, Game Changers. Have you ever seen that? Or What the Health? Those are two really good videos that'll scare the living the out of you. Cosmology. Oh, I didn't see that. Cosmology. You won't scare me more. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and so it, it actually worked. It scared me so much that we threw out a lot of the stuff. I don't. We don't make rice anymore at home. We have quinoa. We have tofu. I mean, so little things that we can do every day that's attached to the Sunday goal, right? That we all become in relation to them, right? Um, having a seventh level business also, we created a um, Sunday work chart. Sunday work chart says there is a CEO, which is not me, and then there's uh, executive committee leaders in each of the departments, which is not me. How do we get there? Right? What does that look like? And so we're trying to create a, a 
relationship to our Sunday goal. What does that Sunday look like and how do we get there over time? We don't know what that is. Uh, it sounds like it's 10 years <coughs> from what Julie's telling me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and I'm, yes, I'm thinking five, five to 10. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't hear that right, yeah, okay. I guess five years from now. Uh, which is well, anyway, for, for these. And then a passive income of $250,000, how do I get there? Well, I need to have investment properties, because I need money on investment properties. I have to have, I have to have enough money to buy investment properties. I have to find the right investment properties. You know, all these little steps that have to take place to get there. Actually, I wanted that one higher. <laughs> <laughs> Always a For all, school, all the yeah. things that we want to build and donate to. Yeah. You know, have a youth center, have a senior center. Yeah. It's really going to need more than that. Money's, Gary Keller said, <laughs> money is good for the good it does. So we believe that there's a lot of good that this world needs. And we want to be part of making that change in the world. And the way to do that is by generating more money so we can give more money. You know the triangle? Oh, Gary says, said, think a million, earn a million, net a million, and the top is give a million. And he tells us, he points his finger at all of us in the room of the top 100 agencies. He says, I challenge all of you guys to give a million dollars. And this is three years ago, he said, I challenge all of you to create a nonprofit whereby you have a channel to give a million dollars and make it in alignment with what your values are. So that's what we did. We started our first nonprofit a couple years ago. Uh, and it's the hardest job we had, frankly. It's hard to raise money. We're not real good at that. <laughs> so we just give it money. <laughs> that's how we raised it. Um, it's hard to provide staff for it. It's hard to, it, it's just hard all the way around. It's the hardest job we have. And then there's no profit. And, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right. Well, the profit isn't here. Agreed. Yeah. Even right. more so. It's how you feel about helping somebody who can't help himself. I mean, that, you, I'll take that to the bank any day. Any day. So do you, I always feel, and this is just a tangent on that, that the whole verbiage of nonprofit, I think, is the root of why they're so challenged, is that it's already coming from an intention of not to profit. I think it just, like, it needs to just have a different tag. Because people want to give, and there are some very profitable nonprofits. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yet, it is a struggle, especially on this island, and I know at this state, to really you know, have a thriving nonprofit. It just seems like sometimes everything's about, well, no, we're not making any money. And I've had people say, well, I don't want to give money to an organization that's not making money, because so, they're not using my money wisely. Yeah. So I understand how nonprofits work. Is It's not by people like us, it's by large organizations. Right? You have to get endowments. And you have to have a, a writer, right? a grant writer. And you got to submit the grant. So these are all the things that we have to put in place. But we got to, step one is I need to make enough money to give enough money to have an administrator, to have a grant writer. You know, That's step one of this whole journey. And honestly, we haven't got there. So I worked in nonprofit fundraising for several years. That was my background before coming to real estate. And I will second that yes, some nonprofits are struggling. But based on my personal experience in the industry, raising funds for several different nonprofits mostly comes back down to mindset and the culture of the nonprofit. The nonprofits that are raising funds have a donor mindset and they communicate their need yep. and the good that they're doing to their donors. Yep. So when you see a nonprofit that's struggling, they're not communicating effectively Spot and they on. don't have a culture of fundraising. Yep. That's right. I totally agree with that. Sounds like any business. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's right. In the area of nonprofit, that's us. That's based on personal No, I 100% spot on because that's what we've experienced. Um, yeah, we have a few things on our plate right now. so. Um, it's been a little challenging. Okay, so that someday goal, guys, has to be really clear. Now, what we want to do is to, we talked about building a relationship with your goals, because it starts with your someday goals. Right? If we're not clear on your someday goals, none of this is going to work. None of this is going to work. So you start with your Sunday goals, not Sunday, someday. <laughs> I heard myself. Then you break it down to, okay, what does it take, what do I have to be at five years before my someday goal? What does that look like? Right. What does that look like five years prior to that? I'm sorry. 
And then one year from now, five years from now, excuse me, it's five years from now, what does it look like? One year from now, what does it have to look like to get to my five-year goal, my five-year goal to get to my someday goal? Then we roll that into our GPS. Um, I know some of you have the GPS. I'm not sure if they're aligned to your someday goal. That's my only question. And so that's a more of a reflective question. Is your GPS today aligned with your someday goal? And if it is, great. And if not, maybe we need to amend that a bit. And then from your GPS in Keller Williams, we have the 411, which is you know one year, one month, four weeks. Right? So what am I doing this week that's in alignment with this month, what's in alignment with this year's goals? Yeah, am, I, am I knocking each of those dominoes down this week? Okay. By the way, on a, on a 411, you only have to write one for this week. Because next week, if whatever you didn't do this week, goes on next week. <laughs> right. That doesn't, you don't get a buy on that. <laughs> because you didn't do it, right? You didn't do it. And then time block your 20%. 20% of what matters most, right? Right, the Pareto rule, right? 80% of what you're gonna accomplish is done by 20% of what you do. Right. What is that 20%? So does anybody have an idea what your 20% is? What's the most important thing this week to do? Complete <coughs> generation. Yeah. That's where it starts, right? You know, Gary says if we don't have a lead, we don't have a business. We don't have a business. Or glorified taxi driver. Really? We don't have a business. So we need those leads, right? And then Here's one the interesting thing that he said uh, in the book, actually not in the book, in the class. Okay. What's the purpose of the goal? Well, I always thought the purpose of the goal was to get there, right? So we know where it was. Really, the purpose of the goal is to be appropriate in the moment. To be appropriate in the moment. When we say that is, if this is my goal, what do I need to do today in the moment to get to my goal? So it brings clarity to creating a relationship with all of your goals, right? Your someday goal, everything has to be aligned. See, because if it's not aligned, we're gonna miss our goal. And or our goal's gonna change, right, from time to time, right? So it's really to be appropriate. What do I need to do today? What do I need to do this week? What do I need to do this month? What do I need to look accomplish this year in order to get to my five-year goal, in order to get to my and that's the question we have to ask ourselves every day. One of the tips they suggested, which is a really good tip, you know your 411, that's everything I need to get done this week so that I can accomplish my this month's goal, and then I can accomplish this year's goal. What they suggested is you take your 411 and you look at it before you look at your email, before you look at your calendar every day. Because that's the North Star. Right? That tells you what you need to get accomplished this week. See, if we're, if we're not getting accomplished what we're getting, what we need to get done this week, we're not gonna get this month's goal done, are we? We're gonna miss it. We just lost 25% of the month if we failed to accomplish this week's goal. And so that's why he said, take a look at your 411 before you do anything else. Before you do anything every day, every day, look at your 411 and then you look at your calendar and go, huh, why does not my calendar reflect what I need to get done? Why is that? Because we, we weren't in alignment with our goals. Because we got distracted. Because we, we went all over the place. Okay, so Dan just talked about this. this is, and this is just in a flow chart sort of a picture so starting off actually on top of this are your values on top of that someday is your core value right your core value kind of leads everything the direction you want to take and then you create your someday goals which roll into your five-year goals which rolls into your one-year goal does this have a point here? I don't think it'll oh. and then you see you, you from your one-year goal you create a GPS and a 411 and you time block your 20% what do you do with the 80% so your, 20, your top 20% is your lead generation, right? 
you still have all that other stuff, 80%, that goes on a to-do list. So that you do when you have time to do it, but you're, you focus on your 20% and you time block for your 20%. So one of the things, taking it from um, now, okay, so here you are now, and you created your someday goal. So creating a relationship is, how are you gonna create the path to get from the now to the someday? Okay. So you have to look at, okay, now, and then here's my, what my one-year goal will be, and then I have to align it with my five-year and then my someday goal. So each of these, you have these points in time where you want to make sure you're hitting it. So they should all be in alignment, starting off with now, and then what do I need to do, kind of working backwards, what do I need to do in one year so that it aligns with my someday, it also aligns with my five years. So if I keep going in this trajectory, I'm gonna hit it. Just like a rocket, you know, when it goes to the moon, does a rocket go straight? It course corrects, right? But it's in that same direction. It's like, I gotta hit the moon and I'm here now. I'm gonna kinda go like this till I get there. So same thing with your someday goal. You're gonna start where you are now. You have your one year and it may shift a little bit and shift a little bit, five years, but eventually you're gonna get there by shifting. So you have to align your goals as you go to hit the something goal. Okay, so now we're gonna work on, I think we're gonna work on the five years. Okay, work on the five year goal. So you all have your someday goal, at least for one or two areas. And then you're gonna ask yourself, what will it have to look like in five years to reach the someday goal? So to get to the, was it $10 million? What will it have to look like in five years so that I'm on course to get to that 10 million? Just a tip, um, a lot of people, uh, in, in particular here in Hawaii, we, we measure our business by dollar sales. And it's really not dollar sales, it's net profit. It's really net profit. Gary Keller now uh, asks all of us in our group to submit our P&L. And nobody will go on stage anymore <laughs> without a profitable p &L, just so you know. It's not about glorified salespeople selling a lot of real estate. It's about do they make money. Based off of your year's GCI, what percentage of that is your net profit, if you don't mind me asking? This year, is, it's not that big, right? It's like 20, 22 maybe, 22%. Goal is 40, right? So we're not near where we need to be. Um, but we're headed towards the Sunday goal. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, so let's take a, a few minutes just to go through what does it have to look, what are, whatever areas you pick, two or three, what, is, what does it have to look like to hit my Sunday goals in five years from now? What does that have to look like? I was wondering if you can give me a little clarity. So on something like spirituality, I'm having a difficulty creating something that feels big enough to be a Sunday goal because to me, spirituality so much breaks into what I do on a daily basis mm -hmm. and just the choices I make at the moment. So can you give me an example or something? I'm What's the Sunday goal in the area of spirituality? Yeah, see, I feel like it's the same goal as it is right now. Which is? is it? Which is? Is it what you're doing, or is it who you become? I feel like it's what I do affects who I become, right? That's so right. it's the day-to-day -day so activities. So is the Sunday so goal more of a who you become as opposed to the activities? To me, I look at it like that. Okay. It's who are you going to become, like spiritually? Who do you want to be? Just to your point, you want to be the guy that you know, goes to church and something happens in traffic, and you, you're still like, hey, it's okay. I'll pray for you. God bless you. You must be having a bad day, whatever it is, you know, it's your mindset. So who do you want to become spiritually? Or what do you to want be. to do in that area? Or other what most people look at is, what do I have to do? Or I have to get what do I have? But the real, real um, thing that we realize is it's, it's really about who do we have to be in order to do what I want to do. Most people get stuck here. And that's a real introspective look to yourself. Yeah, see, I think I understand that concept related to everything else except for the spirituality because I believe that you have the ability to do in the moment because of the choice 
versus a lot of that, because I always think of B, do you have, it's like, it's the financial conversation, right? Like, for me to be successful, I have to do a certain activity, but it's more how I show up in my life, right? right? So I, I guess I'm having a hard time wrapping myself up. Okay, so for me, spirituality is very important. Um, and so along the way, some of those things that I put on are so many mission trips, and I put on, you know, to, to begin with, or first it's just daily prayer, devotion, doing whatever, and then it's, okay, mission trips, and then it's, I want to build a youth center. I want to build a youth center for the young, the next generation, so that they have a place to go, they feel safe, and it'll build their spiritual being. Um, or a senior center. Actually, it's a senior center, and you then com combining and bringing them together, so that the older generation can teach a younger generation and mentor. And so it's this whole thing that we want to build. That's perfect. And it's built. You know, it's the purpose is spirituality. It's to so that they can find who they are and, you know, but thank you. So that's, that's what I was looking for. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a few minutes to go through and really dive deep into what is what does my world have to look like five years from now in order for me to hit my something goal. Okay? Is this for every area or just a few? Uh, is, is maybe, maybe two as or three. As it's, I mean, yeah, as far as you can go in the next few minutes. Okay. Whatever you don't finish today, I'd like to challenge you to take it home and do that for yourself, for nobody else but yourself. 